largest service station or an integration hub it's something along those lines i'm not much of a tech person myself long story short it's a navigator a defense system and a regional information center all in one enormous package the smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons data is shared between all beacons you activate one and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal Pretty nifty, huh? Just place your terminal here. talking about it. Ew! First time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall! I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most people were advised to... So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. 
So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Sure it can. Have you thought of something, Rover? keep up with your thoughts but i think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt same here anywhere a magistrate's the best lead we have for now no matter what she has in store for rover then that's exactly what we're after we're on the right track then you'll be getting your memories back in no time what do you think rover are you in a hurry to recover your memories in that case how about meeting with the magistrate first she may have the answers you're looking for we're not allowed to go with you Shizia and I will be right outside the city hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right. We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear you. Plus, they've got this rule about not yelling inside the city hall. You mean I'm not the VIP the magistrate's expecting? Go see for yourself. Everyone's been talking about it. Every guess is important to Jinjo. Kindly have a seat. Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. I regret to inform you that Madame Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madame Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Since Madame Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional.
Regarding that... My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. You... You share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. They all look different. May I have your terminal for a moment? Indeed, it was an oversight on my end. I will now import my contact information and that of all public services, like patrol stations, into your terminal. I will be here on standby, ready to assist whenever you need me. I need your terminal for regional access authorization. I will also configure the latest utility module for you. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinjo? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you, in advance, here in the City Hall. I will lead you to your room if you need. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Magistrate's not in the city hall.
We've reported to the City Hall, the Ministry of War, and the Academy. We've done everything we can. I mean, this is one long. And we're talking about Jinjo of all places. We've been through our fair share of unrest over the past thousand years, and we've made it together every time. There's been TD outbreaks every year, but we can always trust General Ji Yan, Madam Magistrate, and our Sentinel to have our backs. We're not ones to mess with. United we stand, a bastion of might. One equal the Legion, invulnerable in fight. Well said, Jizya. Do you have any plans, Rover? Fair point? A three-day vacation it is. Let's go chill out then. We'll figure out the tokens when we have the chance. <gasps> Ooh, reminds me of the tokens of love in those stories. It sounds like you're off to a secret date or something. What is our magistrate planning to do with these token puzzles? if we have a look at the tokens. So, what's so special about them? Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still... This leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. So 
Trisia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? them better than the kids of Jinjou. There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utility. See? Just open the util... See? See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. Huh. Oh, wait a sec, someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When duty calls. Oops. Almost for sorry, Rover Yang Yang. I've gotta head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, alright? If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Well, you only need to send me a terminal message as you shout. Then I'll be there in a jiffy. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. Replied to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but, um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Baiju, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Baja should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Huashu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance, but he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizya told me he's quite popular with the kids. 
children have been pestering him for all kinds of fancy toys, and he's always open to their requests. in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. Any discoveries during your trip to the City Hall? What do you think, Baiju? hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies-related branches. Yes, Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Oh, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the sugar pearl might be unique to Huang Long? I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals, perhaps? The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huanglong local working at the Academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with reliable data. Seconded. Let's find out through actual testing, then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Now let's begin, if you're ready. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? Hmm. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body. 
leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. How do you define monster? For resonators like you, such abnormal fluctuations in frequency typically lead to overclocking. When a resonator's mental capacity is overwhelmed, they may lose control of their forte, causing an overflow of resonance energy. We have established a comprehensive overclock diagnosis process to accurately predict potential risks of overclocking. Your waveform graph shows a remarkable level of stability, surpassing any resonator I've encountered. Your risk of overclocking should be minimal. You don't need to worry about that for the time being. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. A universe. That's a poetic and intriguing comparison. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. Simulated training ground. Don't worry, Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. detected, your bodily functions are in good condition, and you seem entirely unaffected by the crownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. On with the sounds. The hour is upon us. Come forth. Not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, can you hear me? Hello? The comm line's dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? Huh. I'm back to the same spot again. And this... moon. What is happening? Are those tacit discords?
over. Oh, thank goodness. You're awake, Baijin. What happened just now? The connection was suddenly cut off. Rover, do you still remember what you saw? Can you give us some more details? An enormous moon looming above you. Now, this reminds me of the unusual sightings that supposedly happened during a past war. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorospheres. Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated sonorosphere again to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good, but if you feel anything unusual, please come find me anytime. a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scan it, and there's a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. Mechanics isn't my field of study. I specialize in developing tacitite weapons, but the foundational theories behind these applied technologies are quite similar. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Well, 
Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We could certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Hmm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling... spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. to figure out this little sundial here. But I do admit talking with Zhang Li made it easier. He's the expert in automata mechanics I mentioned earlier. The only principal investigator we currently have. and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. Any civilized human would find it impossible to stand. Please. 
Please don't touch that. It's dangerous. Rover, mm, I don't think we'll find what we need here. just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. Branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use now. What kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the Grand Libraries. Yes, the large data repositories located in Huang Long's major cities. The 
Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. If I remember correctly, Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Zhenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Zhenzhou's founding. And the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the Crownless. to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they failed... We owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important to remember their sacrifices. If the Sugar Pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Is it related to your past? Or is it... According to the reports, the vaccine's creator died three years after its development, with the rest of the team now aged over 50. Hmm. You mean, you could be that infant shown in the pictures? They should be around your age by now. Hmm. But he doesn't have your golden eyes. Rover, about the sugar pearl. Zhenzhou was the most recent city established in Huanglong. The mountains of spirits running from north to south divide Huanglong in two. The capital and the five cities are located in inner Huanglong. While Zhenzhou is in outer Huanglong, the Battle of Gorges of Spirits was the catalyst to found Zhenzhou. Tacit discords were born in the Norfolk Barrens, and their invasion route was originally traceable. However, the emergence of the Crownless changed it. The Crownless is a tacit discord that embodies war itself. The hatred of the fallen warriors 
and the fear of the survivors are the ingredients for it. With the limited information available, some researchers have speculated its connection with the Thrinodian. When it comes to the Thrinodian, there is a lot to tell. For now, think of it this way. The Thrinodian is the most powerful tacit discord. The battle of the Thrinodian that happened long ago was to fend it off. According to the reports, the Crownless is very similar to the formidable tacit discord we encountered. Sentinel, Jue, manifested before us in that battle. Over, about the Sugar Pearl. We have the symbol Wei now. This should go with the time part. But we can't yet solve the puzzle with this alone. Maybe we can figure out the cardinal direction part by looking into the tokens again. It might have something to do with how we got one of the clues. Rover, about the sugar pearl. What do you think, Rover? I've only seen our magistrate once at the appointment ceremony. So, I can't comment on her personality, but her policies have proven effective and greatly benefited us since she took office. Some believe that the remarkably far-sighted and profound decisions were actually devised by Counselor Chang Li due to the young age of the magistrate. Secretariat, but she requested a transfer to Jin Zhou. I've also heard rumors painting her as a cunning manipulator rather than a loyal servant. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the Sugar Pearl as a key in solving the Sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to she needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Hmm. If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. Too. Ah, 
nothing special, a typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chumpy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I went there to calm them down. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. You betcha. All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Talk about hospitality. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow.